Hello and welcome back to another episode of Penetration Testing with Khalid Nux. In our earlier episode, we look on to bash usage, quite an intro about it. In this tutorial, we'll look a little bit aspects of practical of bash usage. So let's say we are given an Apache HTTP server log that contains evidence of an attack and uh, our task uh, is to use simple bash commands to inspect the file and discover various pieces of information such as uh, who the attackers were and what exactly happened on the server and various aspects of it and okay so let me first open up our terminal and if you can see in my desktop I have a file named as access.log that I downloaded it uh, using Google Docs in URL access.log you have lots of uh, options you can just download it from anywhere okay and it's in my desktop so I already am in my desktop directory okay so let's have a quick peek at our log file to understand what it is structured into so I can use head command or WC command so let's first use hex head command and access dot log so if you can see it gives us a peek that we have some IP addresses then the timestamp and uh, the HTTP request made okay but again this uh, is quite a jargon we have it is messed up so let's try to basically filter it out and uh, the best part about this log file is it is very graph friendly and uh, different fields such as this IP addresses, timestamp, HTTP request, etc., all of which are separated by spaces. We can um, pipe the output using cat into cut and sort commands, and this will give us a very much good clue about the number of potential atta attackers we will need to deal with. Okay, so let me just clear up my screen. And use cat command cat file name and let me pipe it into cut and what I want to cut dash d and put the spaces and field equals let's say one and let me pipe it into sort sort hyphen u the presenter and if you see we got all the IP addresses which were there in the access.log file okay although it doesn't tell us anything about the attackers okay because it's quite a lot of IP addresses and we can't pretty much pinpoint out which IP address was associated with the attacker okay so next we are gonna use unique and sort to further refine our output and sort the data by the number of times each IP address access the server so let's say uh, me as an attacker if I want to um, have some footprinting or if I'm going to put some or get into some server and access uh, so the access.log file will obviously re record my presence that is the IP addresses first of all and second of thing is that the number of attempts of an IP addresses which are logged into the log file will give us a pretty much good view about like what was his intent of the attacker okay like if there are maximum time a person visited our specific path which I think may be vulnerable so it can give us a quite a view about which IP addresses we can we can put up our suspicions list okay so let's get into it uh, how we're gonna do we are going to first use cat access dot log pipe it into cut and then D as earlier and then field one and let's sort it out this time in sort we are gonna use 
we're gonna pipe it into unique unique hyphen C and sort hyphen URL So let me just look at my command once uh, cat access currently I can sort unix c sort urn all right let me run it okay a few ip addresses like how many if you see this ip address 144.76.85.241 it has 1273 entries similarly we see the number of entries the specific ip has will focus more on this IP that one is highlighted which is the highest access frequency first so to display and count the resources that were being requested by this specific address we can use a very good command so let me just copy this IP address first of all and let me cat access.log and let me put the grab command and in grab command we are gonna put that specific IP address and the delimiter put slash and another and this time field 2 and unique command unique hyphen c and let's see oh my command is correct all right let me run it so from this output we can see it was visiting lots of files so like information general then file inscription general information uh, news images all the HTTP request it made we can see it perfect you can uh, just play with it so let's make um, let's say if it visited something like let's say admin or yeah we have something like let's say it visited some files and it files is ESS global let, let's see if it visited some admin or not okay some file path which is having admin and all so let's say either admin or either files let's say okay so get access dot log uh, I can just pretty much use the earlier command let me remove this part cut and let me put grab again and this time I put slash admin to see if there are any file path the specific IP address visited of admin and sort it out you and press enter seems like it didn't visited any admin file path so again let me just check if it visited something called slash file let me check um was it file or files it was files okay maybe uh, okay okay I have a space over here all right so these are all the file paths that it visited so I think in my last admin command will also work let me just check because I think I have a space here let me remove it and press enter no it didn't visit any admin path so I think you got it how to filter the output according to a specific file which is let's say this file is very much important or the file path is very much important to you because you will know you as a analyst of that organization you will know which file path contains your sensitive information 
so you pretty much use this command and filter out the file path that specific IP address visited okay hopefully uh, this brief tutorial we did just now has given you an idea about some of the possibilities that bash can offer and I think you have understood some basic practical usage of bash that we did just now so this much I had in mind for this tutorial and in upcoming tutorial we will be coming up with more resources up till then thank you very much and we do appreciate if you can share our video among the infosec community thank you very much